Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, looking to highlight a little bit of the takeaway today. Uh, some players that I've seen recently have sort of struggled with the tendency as they try to get the club to move back. To, they start standing up pretty quickly, starting to extend uh, too early in the takeaway. So this one's for uh, that type of player just to help refine that very first move of takeaway. Usually when that's uh, really tidy, it can help lead to a lot of great things in the swing. Okay, so for this one, it's um, I'll go without the glove first. So I got an exercise band here. I used it in another video that I think um, very different reason to use it, but this is a great little tool here. So for, for this one, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to create a little tension pulling across the band, okay? And then I'm trying to imagine that I'm arcing the takeaway around my right leg, okay? When I do that, so I'm picturing sort of a, a hula hoop circle here where I'm arcing around my right leg, that's going to allow me to rotate and still stay down, okay? The tendency I'm talking about is if, if a player starts and as they go, they start to stand up, and that leads to them being usually ahead of the golf ball in the backswing. So with this one, create tension. You'll feel some muscles around the stomach activate. Not a ton of tension, about like, you know, three out of 10. And then as I start, I get to about here, I can really start to feel those muscles engage. So if I was chest up, I wouldn't really feel much. That way I'm sort of chest pointed a little bit more down, screwing into that right leg as I start my backswing. So what that will do is that will, make the hand path move a little bit more around my body versus sort of lifting up really high at the start. It will keep my hands a little bit lower, slightly under my hip almost here uh, in that first move down. And it'll also help me have width, right? So if I stand up and start moving this way, my lead arm gets a lot shorter. If I can keep my chest down, I can have a lot longer left or lead arm here to reach across and load up. Uh, giving you the potential to produce more energy, right? So if I if I do it again and I stand up early, lead arm gets pretty short, hard to get a lot of leverage from that position. Really easy drill to do. If I demo it here, so if I'll just get the glove on just to uh, highlight if I was working on it. So I'd have the ball in here. I'd get set up, get that feel. Okay, drawing that little circle around my right leg, keeping my stomach down, I feel my, my uh, core sort of coiling up or, or creating a little bit of like a screwing motion sort of right through all the way into my bottom foot here, my trail foot, and then I'm gonna try to copy that, let the club sort of move around my body versus break away right away. And that was a good one. I ended up getting a little bit forward on that, but I did a good job, I felt like, in the takeaway. I'll do one more of those. I'm trying to picture, create the tension, let the, draw that circle as I go around my right leg. Really feel my stomach down here. I'm trying to copy that same feeling with good rhythm. There we go, that was really good. Really neat, because I don't, when you do it, you'll sense that you're, almost that your eyes aren't really changing position, where if I start leaning and getting narrow, I usually see the eye line start to change a lot. With this one, it's almost going a little bit the other way than tilting that way. So really easy one to do. It, it, you might feel totally different with that type of move. It might move your hands in a different direction than you're used to. Give it a try. See if it helps you produce a little bit more consistent ball flight and really uh, load you up in that backswing.